My name is Colin James Bingham. I'm a senior. Hopefully, it's my last year. <laughs> and I, um, I start scout team linebacker. <laughs> I mean, look at these two. Combined like an M&M -M had it more. <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> Your hair looks so pretty. Let's take your fresh out of a shampoo commercial. Put that, put that here. <laughs> my, my dad teaches for them. Is, oh, I was gonna say, is that the, is he the only one up in the stands? But oh, well, you might be over there. Get a ball! 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 Let's talk with mine. Good. Yeah, bro. Did you see me waving at you? When I was on the sand, I was like, I was like, Are you really? When they came out, I was like, this. And then, and then I saw you, I looked across the field, and I was like, Wait, when you were on the field? Yeah. Or in warm ups? On the field. I didn't it was like, notice. It was like before. What does it mean to be an Avon people? You know, just be motivated, try your hardest on the field. No slacking off the field, you know. Live it every day. How do you not slack off? They play music, you just gotta dance around. I mean, I might get yelled at for dancing once in a while, but you just gotta bring the energy and the vibe, you know? You can't just like sit there on the sideline like, I wanna go home. You gotta, you gotta dance and stuff. Alright, what's it like to be Colin Bingham? Oh man, I can't even describe it. It's a lot of sleeping, a lot of junk food. One of my passwords is sugar, since like fifth grade. How do you keep your hair so quiet? What does that mean? Like, just, just, like, uh, you gotta face, you gotta face where the wind's going. The wind's going. Now you gotta face it. If I was just, like face another way, my hair would be like, like a bird's nest. Like, well, I'm referring to just on a regular basis. What do you do? Do you moisturize? What? I mean, I moisturize once, once or twice a month. Shampoo a lot. You know, yeah, let's keep it, keep it clean. I'm like that kid. Damn. <laughs> Are you preparing for your model career or what? Yeah, yeah. I'm actually starting next week for Vogue. Vogue. I was thinking shampoo commercials. Oh, I mean. It's uh, they double Trust up. Yeah. Yeah. They double up. Yeah. Loki is like Suave, Pantene. Yeah, there you go. Vo5. All right. As a football player, all the things you guys go through here. Get up at 5 a.m. to lift. I don't know if you do it or not. But um, <laughs> I get I get up. Do you? Yeah. Do you go to lift? I go there. Do you lift? I, I'm there. <laughs> I live. Yeah, I live. I live. Okay. Obviously. <laughs> All the things you guys go through, how would you describe that to an outsider? How would I describe what we're going through? Now? Yeah, like nobody knows what you guys go through. Um, how would you describe it to them? Over the summer, I mean, I have a bedtime. Some people don't even have a bedtime. Like, I legit, legitimately have a bedtime. So there's no staying up late. You gotta wake up early. Like, you wake up, lay in bed, stare at your ceiling, like, what am I doing? Like, why, why am I doing this? But I mean, it pays off, because even if it doesn't pay off in football, it pays off afterwards. Awesome. Get, up, get up early for work. Take care of kids when your kid cries in the middle of the night. You have to wake up and breastfeed them or something. <laughs> How did you grow up so fast? You know, now you're, you're married and got kids. You know. Yeah, I mean, you've had a brother come through the program. You got uh -huh. multiple brothers in the program. What's that like? The family dynamic of the Binghams. Um, on the well, I'm no, I'm not chunky like Mason. Mason was, Mason was, was athletic. He was good at football. Um, Connor, I mean, obviously he's taken after Mason, not just by like weight, but like he's he's starting to play too. Um, but, but yeah, Mason Mason was a good dog. He's a player. He's a good dog. <laughs> you forgot one. Oh, Ryan, or me, or both. Oh, I don't know. I'm just cruising along. What about Ryan? Oh yeah, Ryan. Ryan doesn't. Ryan doesn't have the fat, but he's got he's got the muscle. He goes the weight to lift. A question people always ask is, do you two share a brand? Seems like it sometimes. Yeah. No, but I'm smarter for sure. Yeah. What's it like to have a twin? I share a lot, man. I'm not allowed to get my license and stuff because I have a twin. No, I'm kidding. That's all me. I'm just too lazy to get my license. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It's, it's, we, share, we share a lot. We share a room. Me and him didn't share a bed when we were little, but me and Connor did. What would be the perfect way to end your senior year? Yep. Mm. <laughs> oh, with a ring, yeah, yeah. I thought you were talking about like on a personal level, yeah, with the well, championship. Whatever. You put the child, like, you <laughs> put, the, put the ring on with the sweatshirt hoodie hanging under hanging under my pads and jersey, running out there. I'm still warm and stuff. <laughs>
You like wearing the hoodie under your pants, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> Is that your signature? Yeah, yeah. The last name on the back. Yeah. Rocking it. So how psyched are you for your senior year? So excited. Yeah. You look I, can't, I can't contain. I'm trying to contain myself right now, but I just, like, it's so hard to. I'm just so excited. Is there a bigger character on this team than Colin Baker? <laughs> he might be one of the biggest characters, and I, and I would tell you that's that's one of the things I always take from Colin is the mood he keeps. He keeps the people loose around him. He doesn't let people get too tense. Um, whether it be something that he does or something that he says. People stay loose, people stay relaxed because of him. You know, sometimes when we're out in games, people get a little bit tight, and you can always count on Colin to, hey, let's, let's, let's bring it down a little bit. Let's make sure we can control our emotions, and that's where Colin comes in. I was joking with him and Vanessa the other day about how he probably dances more than he practices at practice. Is that true? Probably true. Um, he and I had a conversation about that during two days. Is we're doing a drill, and, and I'm looking for the next guy to come up, and I was like, the heck, he's over there. He's over. I'm like, Fouts, come here. He's, he's over there dancing. Look at this kid, you know. And so he's he's over there dancing during practice. And I don't think a day has gone by at practice where he hasn't been dancing around somewhere. What does that do for like overall morale of the team to have somebody like that that's just so loose and fun? It definitely it helps keep those other kids loose and it lets them know that it's okay to still have a little fun while we're out there working to be the very best that we can on the football field. Obviously, when we're out there, we need laser focus. We need the kids to dial in and do what they need to do in drills. But if if he's off to the side and he's not distracting anybody, having a little bit of fun. You know, I think that's okay at times. Colin is a young man that uh, obviously has had brothers here too. Him and his brother are twins and uh, been around our program forever. The Bingham family is all drastically different. That's what I've learned about them. And, you know, my three kids are drastically different too. But Colin is a jokester. You know, he's a young man. It's, um, sometimes he's, he needs to take things a little more serious. But if you're ever thinking something's tense or you're ever thinking that something is probably bigger than what it is, you want to be around Colin Bingham because he'll bring you back to reality real quick and he'll remind you that you need to have fun in this world. You know, we get one run at life and Colin Bingham's going to enjoy every single day of his. He's also contributed to us on special teams and done a great job of that. He's a good football player. We had a great moment where him and his brother got on the field um, and all three of them were on the field at the same time and he got a carry from quarterback and I think he rushed for 20-some yards. So he's a talented young man. I've heard he practices dancing more than football at practice he might like I just said you know Colin Bingham is a guy who has fun with life and he's better figure out sometimes when to have that fun and when not to and he's caught me in moods where I wasn't entertained and he's found me in other moods where I've laughed hysterically at the young man so he needs to be himself and that's who he is and he's the he's the life of the party man he's going to be the guy that's always shows up and is and wants to have a good time I think that's a, a quality that's in this world today uh, that's undervalued. So he's proud of him and who he is and how he's become comfortable with who, who he is as a player and as a human being. If you were a flavor of ice cream, what would you be? Double chocolate chunk. That <laughs> just fire up real quick. I think you like that one. Or caramel fudge brownie. Nice. Sounds tasty. All right. If you were a pizza, what toppings would you be on? Pineapple, sausage, pepperoni. <laughs> Cheese. Yeah. All right. Pineapple. Don't. Pineapple's really good on pizza. You gotta try it. Here's Apple the important one. Hollywood made a movie. Chris what? Hemsworth. Who? <laughs> Chris Hemsworth. You didn't even let me ask the question. I know what you're gonna say though. Or Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt's hilarious. Which one? Kevin Hart. <laughs> <laughs> Probably The Rock. <laughs> or Denzel Washington. Wow, you got a whole plethora to pick from. Yeah. Why, why are those guys? I'm, Cause I, I, I look I look like Dunzel, but I think um, just just Chris has my like maybe like my body physique or, or Chris Rock. I mean not Chris Rock, The Rock does. But I just Your look more like physique? Denzel Washington. Fair enough. If you won the Mega Millions billion dollars, what would you buy? <clears throat> mm, I'd probably buy a local drug mart. And then <laughs> I'd buy like I buy like a mansion somewhere with a long road in the middle of the woods, but like the house is built out of logs. Like a, it's like a log mansion. Oh, like a log, log cabin. A log cabin. cabin. That's, yeah, it's not a cabin though. It's like a it's like a mansion. mansion. Log cabin mansion. Yeah, it's a cabin. Cabin, 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 cabin. On Williamscourt. Why? Williamscourt, Williams 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 the hood. Why out of logs? <laughs> what? Why out of logs? Because it's you like you got that natural look. <laughs> and why the long driveway? Privacy. I don't want any neighbors. No. Are you invite any friends over? Nah. Yeah, yeah. Of course. Friends. I'll, I'll, I'll have a pool for the guest house. 
pool in my house. You're gonna let your brothers come over? Every once in a while. <laughs> Maybe. They can't swim. Depends on where they move to. <laughs> Depends on where they move to, though. All right. You know? The worst person to get this mask to. Hey, there's, there's my brother, Chief Bing Bing. <laughs> okay, half of this. Dylan, you have to come hide me. <laughs> They're up by two with five minutes ago. Should we have to be on the left? Should I talk to you? Should I call my number? Running, 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 gotta take me back. I got hundreds on my neck and I got shoes on my back. Said I'm going broke, but I'll just take it and laugh. I'll be speeding in that floor with my whole heart. But I'm that nigga, I will never change. Rubbing up the pain, smoking pain. Got a reason in my life, I let it bang. Free look, take it, know he keep a cake. But he not take care of the shop and let it blow up. See this face, I'm that nigga. And all my young